In servicing the Fluency Plus tracheobronchial stent graft is quick and easy to perform. It is available in 6 to 10 millimeter diameters, 40, 60, and 80 millimeter stent lengths, and catheter lengths of 80 centimeters and 117 centimeters. The Fluency Plus is designed to be delivered over a super stiff 035 inch guide wire. The Fluency Plus is pre mounted on a barred safe delivery system. It has a short, soft, tapered tip designed for atraumatic delivery system insertion. The stent graft diameter should be sized approximately one millimeter larger than the normal lumen diameter. Oversizing of more than two millimeters relative to the lumen should be avoided. When selecting the stent graft length, keep in mind that two millimeters of the Fluency Plus stent graft are uncovered at each end. Both female lore syringe adapters must be flushed with normal saline before introduction of the delivery system. Flush the inner catheter lumen with sterile saline using a syringe. Flush until saline leaks from the tip of the catheter and all air is removed. Next ensure that the two-way stopcock on top of the delivery system is open. Flush the Y ejection adapter and stent graft lumen with sterile saline by attaching a syringe to the lure port of the Y injection adapter on top of the delivery system and apply positive pressure. Saline will drip out of the TUI Borse valve. While keeping the syringe in place, tighten the TUI Borse valve on the Y injection adapter by turning it clockwise. Continue applying positive pressure to flush the stent graft lumen until saline drips from the distal end of the delivery system. Close the stopcock when flushing is complete and remove the syringe. The Fluency Plus tracheobronchial stent graft is now prepped and ready for delivery. Under radiographic guidance, the operator should advance the stent graft across the lesion. Use the radiopaque stent graft ends to center the stent graft across the stricture. Advance the stent graft beyond the lesion and gently pull back slightly on the entire system to position the stent graft accurately and remove any slack from the catheter. Just prior to deployment, Open the TUI Borse valve, then remove the safety clip by pressing down on the top of the clip and pulling downward. Under fluoro, reconfirm that the stent graft position still corresponds to the lesion location. Then, slowly pull back the Y ejection adapter towards the hand grip while keeping the hand grip stationary on a fixed surface. This should be done until the Fluency Plus has expanded by approximately 15 millimeters. Then wait a few seconds in order to ensure secure anchoring of the distal end of the stent graft. The radiopaque tantalum markers on the stent graft ends should not move laterally during stent graft deployment. However, the radiopaque marker band on the outer catheter moves backwards during stent graft release to indicate deployment of the stent graft. Be sure the operator does not hold or kink the outer sheath of the delivery catheter since it must be free to move during deployment. Full release of the stent graft is achieved when the proximal marker bands of the stent clear the outer catheter. Do not attempt to resheath the deployment system after stent graft release. After withdrawing the deployment system, visually confirm that the complete system has been removed by identifying the radiopaque marker band on the outer sheath and the flared blue distal end of the inner catheter. During post dilatation of the Fluency Plus stent graft, the physician should choose a balloon equal in diameter to the diameter of the stent graft. Congratulations, you have just learned how to in-service a clinician on how to prep and deploy a Fluency Plus tracheobronchial stent graft.